Hey guys, my name is Moon and welcome back for more Fire Emblem Engage. So last time we did the Paralogue, uh, we did the Connector and we got the Pack Ring, gave it to Nell and today we're going to continue the main story. We're going to do the 23rd chapter today. So yes, let's go. The Four Hounds. Hmm. Over here! The Fell Dragon Shard is nearby. I'm glad you can tell where they are, Vale. I can't really sense them myself. Hold on. I see people. It looks like... Yes. Zephia and Gris. <sighs> they must be guarding the Shard. Are you going to be okay? If I'm going to stop Papa, then I can't avoid this. Sooner or later, I have to face them. Let's go. All right. Zephia, Gris. My lady, we have been awaiting your arrival. <sighs> oh, I see. It's you again. And from the looks of it, the other Lady Vale is no longer with us. She's gone. That's right. Wormed your way back in, huh? I never thought you'd come out on top, Defect. Stop calling her that. No one will speak that way about Vale ever again. You! Hey, whoa! What's this? Aren't you dead? I have become an emblem. By the power of all the emblem rings. So I can save this world. We're here to stop Papa. Both of you, please, step out of the way. And let you through? I think not. Lord Sombron is opening the portal to other worlds. We're here to protect this shard. Not even our Lady Vale could command us to step aside. Then you're prepared to die. You mean to kill us, Lady Vale? Oh, what a sad turn of events. Even after I doted upon you, cared for you as if you were my own. It used to make me happy when you said things like that. But I know they're lies. Now, you're just two of Papa's followers. Enemies to defeat. That's all. Why are you singling us out? There were four of us. Mavir was my knight. Marnie too, I've been told. She died trying to save me. Why did you kill her? I didn't even get to tell her goodbye. I took Marnie into my family. I looked after her. What did I get in return? Betrayal. How can you call the Four Hounds family? Treating them so... viciously. Because I loved them. When children stray, one must punish them. Or worse, as needed. That isn't real love. Oh, is that right? And maybe I've never known real love. I know my own heart and my own thoughts. That's all that's important to me. But we'll never see eye to eye. Not in a thousand years. I serve Lord Sombra. I've done so for a very long time. Fully committed to anything he needs. I got no plans to switch sides. Not even if we lose. Got it? I see. I suppose this is goodbye then. I'm sorry to say. We've got no other choice but to fight them. Are you sure? They're not listening. If only they would leave for their own sakes, but they want to fight. We need to stop Papa. That means I have to put them behind me. It's about time I do. Let's do this. Okay, how many enemies? So we get only two of them? And yeah, but we got these guys. These guys hurt a lot. Um, where are they? Okay, they're both here. Fell Dragon Shard. So we need to reach that place. Okay. So we got two teams. Hmm. Okay, let me pick my teams first. So, Mavie? I don't want to bring Mavie, man. I'm not really using him. Haven't even had any skills in him. 
So maybe Lapis. Yeah, maybe Lapis. Lapis is much better. She can tank as well. We, but yeah, there's a lot of units we can bring today. Or Louie. Hmm. But yeah, I haven't done in, uh, inherent skills in Louie yet. Okay, let's bring Lapis instead. Every, everybody has an emblem? Chrome. Inventory. Let's give Lapis um, some healing items first. A lot of items here. Yeah, let's store. This is much better steel sword for her. Okay, do we have any elixirs? Elixirs. Okay, from Marin. Now, let's uh, swap places first. So we got uh, here. Wait, you cannot cross that? Okay, I need one healer here. You. Here. Um, here. Yes. I guess we are. We are good. Yes. We have to defeat Sephia and Gris. Then, we can break the shard. What was that? Those two. It must be their doing. They can attack using the shard. And I'm sure they'll do it again. Bell Dragon Shard. Hmm. Okay. Volcanic bombs will strike every turn. Okay, at least we know where, where it's gonna hit. Okay, um... They're not showing though. So we can go forward. Up. Alright, let's go forward All from right. here. <laughs> okay, I will warp a leer up there. What a lovely scene. M me? Let us begin. Okay, you can one shot this guy. But yeah, who can this guy get killed? Okay, it can. Bennett, Bennett. I'll beat you to a pulp. <laughs> Serves you right. Then you do it, brother. You kill him. I had no choice but to win. Your steward's ready. Um, Fram has it, right? Warp, yes. But we can't move right now. For so you, we will hold. Anything. So the plan is to move Alir here, and then he can uh, make his way there, right? Yeah. He has a lot of Evo, so he will survive. Okay, this is the problem here now. We gotta kill this guy Devoted or else it will hurt, really hurt. Count on me. Okay, Vale cannot reach that. How do I look? Hmm. I can go here. Problem is these guys will reach me though. Yeah, and it will hurt. 59 100 Avo. I'll do it. Understood. You know, okay, so here. here we're gonna be a little bit careful. I will do what I must.
71% to get hit. Oh, didn't we really have a... I had a warp here. I should have warped first, though. Can we, though? Uh, let me see. Hmm. Do I warp her here? Well, let's see if she survives this. We'll return. We will see. We will see. We don't have a healer, though. No, no, no. What I mean is I've used all my healers. So if she gets hit, it hurts. Okay, I'll wait. I'll wait for now. Yes. Big mistake. Retreat isn't an option. I will die if I must to protect the Shard. You? That's crazy talk. If anyone's dying today, I've got first dibs. Besides, we'll fling these babies at him till nothing's left but bone char. Oh, they're gonna hit that place. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna hit. Uh, I can't really move though. Yeah, I, I really can't move. Yeah, basically it's move or die. Oh no, he's frozen. Yes. Oh, this is gonna suck. He is frozen. From the enemy from earlier. I mean, yeah, from this guy. He froze him. Serves you right. Witness my power, Divine One. Hmm. I win this one. Okay. Thirty-nine. Can we kill him in the first shot? We can't. Why is he so tough, though? Ah! 
drops your guard. <laughs> Nailed it. Big problem though. A lot of heals, yes. No, rather, I mean, we need heals for her. We can one shot this guy. Yeah. Hmm. 58%. Said we would kill him, but it didn't. <laughs> okay, now we need to heal. Uh, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. I just do it. Here. No. Uh. The second damage was thirty-eight. Thirty-eight for the second damage. No, we cannot warp him. No, you better not die. Sixteen only, though. Here we go again. He froze us again. Hortensia, Celica. Oh no, it missed. It's all, all flat. Oh my god, why did it miss? Okay, we gotta go back. It's so unlucky with that one though. Like, usually back then she would always avoid attacks. Now she would die very fast. Why? Okay, so we need a plan here. Okay, how about we do this? Yeah. Let's just fog the area up. Big help. I mean, that's the only thing we can do right now. Now, she, look, she dodged it. She dodged the attack. Hmm, you can't attack that far, though. Hey, yeah, gotta wait. <laughs> wait, oh, Veil dice? What? Oh my god, are you serious? Hey, what is the point of the fog then though? My god. Hmm. A 
Okay, I think it's better if we attack here. Please grant me. I think she's gonna get hit though. Yeah. She is gonna get hit. Can't even one shot this guy anymore. I should have used Alcris's ult, right? Yeah. Okay, let's try it again. One more, I one more. If we survive this, it's okay. So we can't we don't use our resets this this time. All flowers. All right, we gotta go to Alcris. He needs to use his ult here. Here until the yeah. end. That was pretty bad. We gotta go back again, very far. Where's Alcris? Alcris. Uh, from. No, no, no. Uh, let's start from here, I guess. This one, yeah. Let's start from that one. Right, these guys can kill this one. No, I need to get stronger until no one can beat me. Help me be a righteous dragon. Hmm, no no no, not you, not you. Uh Okay, let's think here. Let's think. Let's think. The thing is, I want to. I want to defeat this guy. Problem. Can we not fly here? We can't fly there. Ah. <sighs> We cannot fly like that. Okay, okay. Think, think. Can you not attack like that with corn? It's a terrible state okay, of affairs. Hopefully that works. Okay, now the problem here is... Okay, if I attack like this, this guy might attack one of our, our allies here, right? And may die. Hortensia, can you kill this guy? Hortensia cannot kill this guy. Seventy-eight? Got damage there. Now, what do we do here? Do 
We can try to fog that area up. We can try to bait this guy to attack Hortensia. Okay, hopefully that works now. Hopefully that works, please. All flowers. She dies still though. Oh my god. She dies still. I guess it really hurts, yeah. How about we start from here? I think Spinet cannot move though, yeah. I want to move here in front so can you kill this guy nothing left of you okay now you kill this guy. Fuller Illusia. There we go. So far so good. Engage. And then kill both of them, I suppose. Yes. Okay, so far so good. I guess just wait here for now. And then in this side. How did we do this earlier? I don't know. Who attacked uh, this guy? Was it Panet? Okay, Panet. Kill that dude. That's how a lady does it. And then Nell goes here, kills this dude, I guess. I don't know, kill this guy. This world will find salvation. Alfred goes here, kills this guy. Serves you right. And then let's move him here. Chloe, move here. Ram move there. Alcaraz, oh. Emblem. Engage, I mean. And then kill this guy over here so he doesn't get close. By my A good wind. wind. Okay, that is nice. Okay, we got it. Ooh, that was a lot. Oh my god. We wasted a lot of resets there. Only like the second turn. Okay, at least everyone sur survived this time. Can finally move. I warped him here. Yeah. Are these new enemies? I actually didn't see. What I deserve. She gonna die though next turn. I cannot attack like that. <laughs> A 
Demon Tactic. Lucky this guy. This is it. I had to stop you. But yeah, this is the problem that we need to kill that guy. Do you need any help? Maybe we can warp you too, Pennet. Okay, Alcris can kill this one, so kill him first. I need to get stronger until no one can beat me. Okay, she's maxed out now. Now, how do we do this? Dude, are you serious? Oh my god. What's your problem, Vale? I wanna not bring you anymore. Her, yeah, her damage is really unreliable. I mean, I guess because of the unit of the enemy, right? But yeah, so far, she's all she always misses and she gets hit. I need to get more uh, skills for her. We'll get through this. I guess for Panette, we'll just move her as well there. Ready and able. He's zero. See, zero hit chance. You cannot kill me. Okay, now we have a passage. So the goal here now is to go up or with Fram, go here and then warp her here so she can kill these guys. That is the goal for now. A good wind. Okay, now we need to kill these guys. These corrupted worms are a really, really big problem in this. Yeah. They hit really hard. It hurts a lot. Me. Ah. 
Witness my power, Divine One. Nell. Okay, um. I guess we can move a little bit, yeah. I'm happy to help. I'm fine, really. She doesn't have help. Okay, didn't notice. HP. Miss. Bye bye, sir. That was a fierce battle. How dare you? I'm sorry you had to see that. I need to buy again. Hey, this isn't really much stronger, though. No, no, no. I mean, this spear, for some reason, it's much stronger. But yeah, I, we can critical with this one, but we need to be sure. Okay, how about we do this? 68%. I will put you to rest. Okay, that works. Okay, so the, the goal is to kill this guy first and then go here. Yes. There are a lot of archers, but I think you can best. survive. My turn. I am sorry. I won't flinch. Eighty nine per cent hit. Fine, no problem. Are you watching, Father? The true battle is yet to come. Very nice. I'll help. Okay, you got a hit. For some reason, you got a hit. Okay, they're bow homies right here though. You got a long bow. Big problem. Yeah. We can kill that, but he can kill us as well. Cannot one shot that though. Hmm. Emblem engage. There's one guy here I didn't I forgot about him. Pram, we cannot use Makaya. Okay, 
Okay, Veil is kind of in trouble again. A little bit. You're so nice to me. No, the reason is I wanted to use Makaya so I can heal this one, right? So we don't waste the stone. Problem is, I got no choice. Yeah, we gotta advance. Okay, let's try this again. Allow let's see the rest it if our ally survived the attack here. I am guided by the emblems. I don't know if we're gonna survive. We're gonna have to find out. Okay, let's try to bait uh, that guy with this or with Chloe. I don't play nice. <laughs> Were you raised by wolves? That was a two percent hit. If that hit, I would have uh, raged a lot. No joke. Here we go, one. Nice one, Lapis. Horsemen's have arrived. Okay, we survived at least. Advance. Where to? Fourteen for Lapis. Hmm. Twenty two percent chance to get hit. Let's test it out. Nice. You were beautiful while you lasted. Okay, just in case. I can't really get closer here. Yeah. Hmm. Can be a little bit dangerous, I guess. Can be. Don't worry. dies here I wonder it's gonna be you okay, this is the problem I was saying here yeah with Bennett Fortify? Oh no. Here comes the allies. Hmm. 
I can keep going. Okay, I think someone needs to deal with these guys. Let's go. Lapis, you got a lot of Avo. You got to deal with this, okay? You better win. Hmm. No, no, no. Um, recover. I can still fight. I'm ready. Emblem, engage! Binding Blade? Binding Blade will get us hit still. I mean, the other one's still gonna get us hit. But if we equip Binding Blade, we can attack from range. Yes. Live as a hound, die as a hound. Oh, yeah! Now I'm angry. That was a fierce battle. Okay, we got him. One down. You're stuck with me. Twenty nine. Now I have you. you. Okay. Now for this side. I won't falter. I won't forget you. We got a goddess icon. Nice. And then let's go heal Panet. Yeah! Whew, he saved me. Okay, we got two. You get two stones, I mean. One more. Almost. But yeah. The true battle is yet to come. We survived and we still have one resurrection. So you're not gonna kill me. Okay, no problem. Our bonds are far 
stronger than destiny. That was a fierce battle. Okay, we actually got hit. Oh. It's time to eat it, sir. Bye bye. My turn. Are you frightened? Exquisite. I got Nova. Oh, yeah. Mortal wounds. The really good ones. Can't say no to any of that. Nice, we got it. Um, send it home, of course. We'll equip it next time. I'm here. Stubborn. You're quite strong. Lord Sombron. No. Georgius. So what is Georgius? A blade. Also, it's a blade. Okay. We did it. We broke the fell dragon shard. Diamond. I guess, yeah, Diamond is the MVP here. He did a lot of damage, especially on uh, the bosses here. <laughs> I suppose you've won. I'm sorry, Lord Sombra. The battle is over. We should go. Goodbye, Zephyr. Goodbye, Gris. I'm glad I could say that properly this time. Oh, Gris can't hear anything now. But don't worry. I'll tell him on the other side. Thank you. <laughs> One last thing. Before I go. You won't be able to break the next Fell Dragon Shard. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, it used to be in the mountains. Gradlon rose so mightily. But those mountains crumbled. That spot is now under a lake. Reaching the shard would be difficult. And then destroying it? Surely impossible. It's at the bottom of a lake? I did sense that one of them was weaker and farther away than the others. But I never imagined this. What do we do now? Simple. You raise the mountains. Or drain the lake. Please. Take this, an enchanted crystal that will bring that location in reach. How did you get this? I am a mage dragon. My kind are capable of making magical objects, small charms and such, you understand. But magic of this magnitude, that drains our years. To craft an object that would alter the very terrain around you, I've paid a steep price. Sophia, you don't mean... Yes. It's making this crystal that has led to my end. The magic in exchange for my life. <laughs> you two were quite fortunate, you know. Of all the mage dragons that ever were, only I am powerful enough to create this. I learned at the youngest age that I had vast powers that were... Difficult to control. I would control them in time. But not before my mother, father, and many others died. Oh, memories. Back to the here and now. My very powerful gift. Why are you helping us now? <sighs> I'm not sure of that myself. Perhaps here at the close, 
I'm feeling that it's just the right thing to do. The crystal's enchantment will last for only a few hours. So hurry along. The shard awaits. Do be careful, Lady Vale. I'll pray for your good fortune in the battles ahead. You... You could have done this at any time! Any time at all! But now you're dying! We could have made things right! If only you'd told us any of this before we fought, maybe we could have forgiven! Why now, indeed? Because it is the end. Huh? I can be kind just this once. Because it's too late for me to make things right. Had I done any of this earlier, would you have really forgiven me? We, allies. <laughs> Nonsense. I had no intention of dying today. But then, all this happened. So, I made you a crystal. I doubt any of you could swim to that shard. It's a long, long way down. <sighs> Sephia, I... I don't understand you. Some advice, dear? Leave those you cannot understand behind. Forget them entirely. It's just unsettling to let someone like that linger in your thoughts as you grow older. Once we defeat Papa and peace arrives, I won't forget you, Zephia. No matter how many hundreds or thousands of years may pass. Oh, child. No more of that, please. Hurry off to that shard. Unless you prefer to stay and watch me die. Would that make you feel safer? <sighs> Let's go, Vale. Yes. Go. We can at least end things with a clean slate. Goodbye, Lady Vale. And to you, our new emblem. Goodbye. Goodbye, Zephia. Thank you... for everything. <laughs> you are too kind, child. Okay, what is this now? A boat of them. Hell of a time to switch sides. My word. I thought they had killed you. What? You think I'm gonna kick off in the middle of this once-in-a-lifetime pain? This is the good stuff. I gotta savor every last drop. Would have been real ticked off if they put me out of my misery, not gonna lie. That's really the reason you were playing dead? <laughs> Even at the end, you're an odd man. How come you told them about the shard? Like I said... I'm just trying to wipe the slate clean. Cut that out. I want to know the truth, okay? To get back at Lord Sombron, I guess. Why should I die in the dust while he... While he gets everything he wanted <sighs> just like that? Does that <laughs> seem fair? Now that they know about the shard, they're sure to break it. And he'll know I've met my end, that he's lost me forever. You gotta really love somebody, if you want to hurt him that badly. I wasn't in love with Lord Sombron. I just wanted him to give me a child of my own. That was the dream I clung to through all of the long years. A family, the love of a daughter or a son. When I called the Hounds my family, I meant every word of it. What we had was something very rare indeed. You, me, Marnie, Mavir, working together to protect Lord Sombron and Lady Vale. But it's too late for all that now. If you were gonna turn on Sombron, why'd you wait? If you'd done it sooner, maybe we'd still be together. And maybe I wouldn't find myself bleeding out at the moment. I have to wonder if you'd have been happier on the other side. You really think I would just abandon you? Not a chance in hell. Huh? The Four Hounds. A family. I always did like the sound of that. 
I can't even remember what my parents' faces looked like. You're the closest thing I had to a mother. Ever since the first day you met me, poor little twisted disciple that I was, hoping that my suffering would be good enough in the eyes of Lord Sombron. You were like a mom to me, and a big sister. Honestly, even a god. The most important person in the world to me. Gris, I don't like this joke. <sighs> it's no joke. I'd follow you anywhere, dummy. You're right. How could I have been so blind? The one thing I always wanted, staring me in the face all the while. If only I had realized. But no, it's too late to think of that. I hope you forgive me. We are a family. I thank you. Zephia, you drifted off already. Guess I will, too. No reason to stick around without her. Nothing hurts me anymore. That's very sad though, yeah. Kinda sad, but it is what it is. Let's do some supports. Jesus Christ, we have a lot. Hello, Diamond. Tell me, is anything troubling you today? Ah. Uh. Normally, I would give you the same not-today reply, but not this time. Something is troubling me. Really? I will solve it. I promise. Just tell me what it is. We went through town before to try and find people who needed help, remember? Of course. We didn't find anyone, though. Not a single person. Yes, well, I spoke with a guard who told me the townsfolk actually have a lot of problems. But why didn't they tell us? Everyone knows that I'm the Crown Prince, so they're afraid to approach me or speak with me. Oh, I see. I must find a way to let my people know that I want... No, I need to hear from them. I'm just not sure how to do that. Oh, that's easy. I know exactly what to do. If you have an idea, I'm all ears. Well, there's a type of food I really love. It's delicious and very exciting to eat, so... I could prepare the food, and you could host a banquet. It would be our treat to everyone. Ah, I see. If we host an informal dinner for the town, then people might not find me so intimidating. Exactly. Food is the perfect way to win people's hearts. I'll begin preparations immediately. Very nice, Isu. Okay, Hortensia. Hmm. Hortensia? I wanted to tell you that I... I'd like us to be friends, so... I wonder if we could talk? I have nothing to say to you. Oh. My father is dead because of you. Why would I want to be friends? It doesn't matter to me if you were controlled or whatever and now you're back to normal. I'll never forget the sight of you laughing as you watched my father die. So please, just leave me alone. I... I've wanted so badly to apologize for that. Illusia should never have allowed worship of the Fell Dragon. His power, though, much as I hate to admit it, I do envy that. If I'd been born with what he has, what you have, my father would still be alive. Be glad you weren't born a Fell Dragon. It's a life full of fear, pain, and persecution. I wish I had been born human. To me, that life seems so much more... Terrible. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's terrible. Poor thing. We'll never be friends, Vale. Goodbye. Hmm. How about Ivy? Can I talk to you, Ivy? 
Certainly, Lady Vale. I just want to say... I'm really sorry. I'm sorry my papa made your father... go mad. Don't do this. I understand he was a gentle king who took good care of his people and his family. Before, if it weren't for my father, he'd still be with his family. With you. Please, no more. The past is past. There is no use dwelling on it. I know you feel that way, but I... You owe me no apologies. Your father's sins are not yours to bear. I don't feel like that's true. Please, I have to do something. Stubborn, aren't you? In that case, I shall think of some penance you can perform when next we meet. Thank you. I'll do whatever you ask. You may come to regret those words. Okay, let's check the other ones. Mavie, Madeline again. Every last piece of equipment has been inspected. Time for a break, I think. Yes, you certainly deserve one. Since you organized everything beforehand, the work went rather quickly. Really, that was a tremendous help. Well done. I'm just happy to be of service. Dividing the items by size and type was a smart touch. You have a mind for logistics, and it must have been no mean feat sorting such a large stockpile. Your efforts are noted. It was nothing, really. I just... Oh, dear. I don't know how to say this, so I'll just come out with it. Hmm? Is something the matter? You seem to praise me a lot. I appreciate the recognition, but as I've said, it's really not needed. Right. You did say that, didn't you? I may be imagining things, but... When you praise me, it feels as if you're praising someone else. <sighs> so... It's true, then. You're not praising me. Not really. I am no one else's stand-in, Mavier. Right you are. Apologies. Without meaning to, I was conflating you with someone else. I suppose I wanted to give her what I had failed to offer before. Nonsensical as that may seem. Her? In any case, I apologize. I will endeavor to make it up to you. In time. Excuse me. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. After all, he's not alone in conflating one person with another. I am too. Now I understand why Lady Nell treated the Divine Dragon so coldly. <sighs> I should try to see this Mavier as the person he is, not the person he reminds me of. Madeline. Maternal sophistication is all about gently embracing everyone, drawing them to you. I get how it works, but actually pulling it off is something else entirely. I've just got to keep observing you. I'll learn all your tricks eventually. Whatever I can do to help. I hope it works. Oh, but wait. Before we get started, let me wipe your face. Ugh, did I have something on me? You did, but I took care of it. Now that cute face of yours is even cuter. <laughs> Thanks, Chloe. Wait! <gasps> that was it! That was it just now! I just naturally trusted you and let you wipe my face without even thinking about it. Having you dote on me felt... I don't know... peaceful. Aw, did it? That's so sweet. <laughs> Unbelievable. I can't let my guard down around you at all. Anyway, let's get moving. I need to see more of this in action. Be sure to drink some water first. Huh? Why? On a warm day like today, it's important to drink when you can. Oh, sure. Glug, glug. <sighs> Wait a second. I fell for it again. Your motherly charm is kind of terrifying, Chloe. Oh, wait, she actually drank water there when you said glug, glug? Okay. <laughs> she said glug, glug. <laughs> uh... Is someone there? No one? Or a, a ghost? Please don't be a ghost. Please don't be a ghost. Princess Ivy? Ah! It's okay. You're safe. I promise. Those shadows in the brush are just that. Simple shadows. I was... 
actually jumping at shadows? You're right. Not a ghost to be seen. It isn't like you to misread foliage as an active threat. Is everything okay? <sighs> Please don't tell anyone about this. It cannot get out that the future ruler of Illusia was frightened by mere shrubbery, or even worse, that the Prince of Brodia had to come to a rescue. Believe me, I understand. I won't say a word. I am in your debt. It seems you've been dealing with this fear for a while. Here, Princess Ivy. I'd like for you to have this. What is it? Some kind of... crystal? It's a gem from one of Brodia's mines. It's said to bring courage to those who need it. Keep it as a good luck charm. Then you won't have anything to be afraid of. Charity from Brodia is not going to do my royal image any favors. Don't think of it as a tether to Brodia. This is just a simple gift from me to you. Uh, <sighs> if it truly makes you uncomfortable, you don't have to keep it. I won't mind. Farewell. Thank you, Prince Diamant. I didn't know such treasures could be found in Brodia. Ooh. Very nice. Okay, with Moon, or with the Leer. Hmm. Ivy, do you think maybe it's time we talked? Whatever you're feeling toward me, I'm prepared to listen. As allies, I'd like there not to be walls between us. Very well. I am rather more comfortable around you now, so... I suppose it's time. I'm glad to hear that. Can we start with why you seem to have such anger toward me? I love you. Huh? What? I love you, Divine One. <laughs> My feelings began long before I met you. Understand, I do not mean romantically. I adore you as a worshipper adores a deity. But you looked so upset when you were staring at me before. My deity was standing before me in the flesh. I was nervous. Oh. Do you understand now? Yes, um, thank you for sharing that. I, um, like you as well, Ivy. Yes, may I be excused? Oh, yes, yes, of course. And, and, I'm sorry. We'll speak again later, Divine One. Okay. <laughs> Level up. Diamond and Alfred. Good morning, Prince Diamond. I see that you're an early riser like myself. Not quite, Prince Alfred. Night Owl into Early Bird would be more accurate. You mean you've been up all night? That's right. I sat down to handle a pressing task before bed. Next thing I knew, I was watching the sunrise. What was it you were doing? I was drafting requests for funding to send to Brodia's nobles. Our military needs support. Any loans will be used as political leverage in the future. I'm worried, but out of options. Huh. I mean, I see. I can sympathize with your plight. Every crown prince has the same troubles, it seems, no matter what realm they rule. Hmm. I don't doubt it. Well then, I must carry on with my morning patrol. Would you mind if I joined you? It would be foolish of me to try to sleep now. A walk and talk with the prince of a neighboring kingdom sounds much more enjoyable. That's kind of you. It's sad that we only get the opportunity during hard times, isn't it? But a long walk might be just the thing we need to get to know each other. Let me start with a question for you. What's your favorite muscle? What? <laughs> That's your opener? Oh, whoops. I was trying so hard to keep up the act, but I guess I blew it with that question. No, you're fine. I think I'll take a page from you, actually. I could stand to be a little less formal. No fooling? Oh, that'd be swell, Prince Diamant! How about the four wins, though, do they have? Um, let me see. We don't have any with Gregory, Rafal. Okay, let's, uh, do... This two. Last two. Kagetsu and Clan. As their max rank. Thank you for the chat the other day, Kagetsu. Exactly what I was going to say. After our talk, I feel our bond has become unbreakable. To tell the truth, however, I was rather reluctant to speak too much of my homeland. Why is that? You said my family back home would be proud of me. Yes? Those were kind words, but they were untrue. I abandoned my responsibility and my role. 
I left only written words to explain my leaving. Are there any parents who would look proudly on their son for this? I think it is impossible. Perhaps they have forgotten me altogether. Oh, Kugetsu, that just means we have our work cut out for us, doesn't it? Huh? If you accomplish great things, your family can't help but be proud of you. So you'll just have to become a living legend across the land. Nothing to it. They can't forget you if your name is on the lips of all the world. And as your friend, I'll help you. My friend, the Divine One. I had thought one meeting was enough to become friends. I now realize it is not so simple. True. Friends are much more than that. They help each other through their darkest moments. If that is the case, then our bond of friendship has grown incredibly strong. You think so? Yes. Uh, we were friends from the start. But our bond has grown much stronger over time. That's true. It certainly has. Indeed. And thanks to that powerful bond, word of our great deeds will be spread far and wide. The last one. Wid Clan. Clan! You're looking bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Yes, I'm feeling much better now that I've gotten some rest. Good. Please try not to overwork yourself going forward, all right? Uh, listen, it's like I said. We stewards waited a thousand years for you to wake up, and you're as amazing as I imagined. No, even more so, but I... I failed you. I'm supposed to make your life easier. Instead, I made you worry about me. I'm really sorry. Sorry? You're doing a great job, Clan. It's really heartening to see how hard you work. It is? Yes. And not just that. I know you've always been there to support me. Even since before I woke up, I find it quite touching how deeply you care for me. Yes, well... Of course, I... <laughs> Clan, are you crying? I'm just really happy. The Divine Dragon thinks I did a good job. I'm going to keep on doing whatever I can to help you out. I appreciate that, but please. I know, I know. I'll make sure not to push myself too hard. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Very nice. Okay. So yes, uh, we will end our episode there for today. So we finally, I guess, defeated the, the four hounds once and for all, right? And I mean, the remaining ones, Zephia and Gristle, it's done with them. So the only goal now is to defeat Somron himself. And yeah, I think I need to like do some, uh, what do you call this? some sp or some skills for the other characters like sailing like veil because they're getting hit so much so easily right like i struggled in the beginning because of my position and where i put my units but at least we got through and no one died again this is uh what i like about this game like it sure it's pretty much like the same stuff you do every time right every gameplay do the same thing, attack this, move units, etc, etc, but it's not boring because it's fun and you get the thrill of it, like the character is dying. Sure, it's frustrating, but it's very nice when you get to solve it, when you get to pass it, right? That adds to the excitement of the game, I mean. So it was really, really good choosing this on the hard classic and not putting it in normal and was that one casual, right? Because if that one, or it was normal and casual, I usually play my games in normal, but doing it like this, yeah, made it much, much more exciting to play. So anyways, we're going to continue this and do more of Fire Emblem Engage in the next one. So I'll just see you then, guys. Bye-bye.